Hey guys, this is Dr. Vikas Sharma. I welcome you all in a new video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about hypothyroidism in dogs. Why not in cats? Because in cats, hypothyroidism is not common. Hyperthyroidism is quite common that we are going to discuss in later on videos. So today mainly we are focusing on hypothyroidism in dogs. So in today's video, we are going to see about thyroid hormone, what it does to the body, why this is important for the body and what are the signs that your pet is going to show if this thyroid is not producing sufficient amount, diagnosis of hypothyroidism and management of hypothyroidism. So all these things one by one we are going to discuss in this video. Now we will see what is this thyroid hormone and why this hormone is important for the body. So this thyroid hormone is basically produced by a thyroid gland which is located in the neck region and that is directly under the control of pituitary gland and this thyroid hormone, this hormone regulates almost all the metabolism whatever is happening inside the body. So this directly and indirectly this hormone regulates metabolism of the body and when the body is not producing this thyroid in sufficient amount, the metabolism slows down and virtually it affects all the organ. So now I am going to discuss if your pet body is not producing this thyroid in sufficient amount. So what are the signs that your pet is going to show you? So basically there are five major symptoms that your pet is going to show you in case of hypothyroidism that we are going to discuss one by one in this video. So before I start with the main part of video, I request you all to subscribe my YouTube channel for more informative videos. Number one, obesity. Your pet weight will increase day by day even though he was having the same amount of food as before. So this is also an indicator that something is wrong or your pet may have this hypothyroidism issue. Number two, lethargy. Your pet will not show interest in playing, running, nothing. He will be lying down the whole day. So that is also indicates your pet may have hypothyroidism. Number three, cold intolerance, sun seeking behavior, heat seeking behavior. So you will notice the change that your pet is spending more time in the balcony as he was doing before or your pet is easily getting cold when he sleeps under the AC next day he will be having running nose so all these issues happens in the case of hypothyroidism number four this thyroid hormone also affects skin and hair coat of pet if your pet is having hypothyroidism in that case hair shedding will be there hair coat will be very rough and dry hair regrowing time will be more and apart from that there will be black pigmentation in the skin reoccurring frequent skin infection will be there in case of hypothyroidism number five this thyroid hormone also affects sexual organs so in case of male loss of libido will be there the male dog will not be interested in mating sperm count is also decreased infertility all these things happens in case of male and in case of female dog she may have irregular heat cycle infertility and abortion sometime so all these things happen in case of hypothyroidism so these five are major sign in case of hypothyroidism and apart from that it also affect eyes in case of eyes there will be cloudiness in the eyes fat deposition will be there and dry eye condition is also common in case of hypothyroidism. So these all are the symptoms in case of hypothyroidism. So how can you diagnose this hypothyroidism? So based on the symptoms, whatever I have explained you in this video and apart from that, there is a specific test for thyroid. Canine specific thyroid profile is there. So based on that test, you can diagnose whether it is hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. So you have to contact your veterinarian for proper guidance. So under the guidance of veterinarian only, you have to start the medications. Now we will talk about management part. So once you diagnose this hypothyroidism, it is very easy to manage. So what are the main things you have to keep in mind that you have to give the thyroid medication regular basis, whatever is prescribed by your veterinarian. Apart from that, you have to recheck these thyroid values. So once in a three month, you have to go for blood test and based on the blood reports, you have to increase and decrease the dose as guided by your veterinarian. This is all about today's video. I hope you found this video useful. So please like this video, share this video with the pet parents and do subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.